Hello, Astronomy GCSE Topic 2, and this is about the Moon, Moon features, uh, some facts about the Moon, what we can see on the surface of the Moon, which ones do we need to know the name of, and what are the different types of feature that we can see on the surface of the Moon. So let's get on with it. There's the Moon. Um, see all sorts on the moon there's there's these little pot marks these craters there's dark bits there's lighter bits there's things that look like splash marks um okay so what are they what do we need to know first of all what shape is the moon uh not a perfect sphere uh it is kind of an egg shape the moon is slightly egg shaped uh, and the fat end points towards the earth and this is to do with how the moon formed uh, and the effect of the gravitational pull of the earth when the moon was all kind of molten uh, so what shape is the moon slightly egg shaped fat end pointing towards the earth uh, the mean diameter of the moon is 3,500 kilometers. So how many times bigger is the diameter of the Earth? Can you remember, you should remember from the last video, what's the diameter of the Earth? How many times bigger is it than the moon? It's the kind of question you might be asked in the exam. So there's the Earth, there's the moon. Uh, Earth, 13,000 kilometers, moon 3,500 kilometers. Okay, um, a, a technician made this for me. I find this good. See that that ball bearing there uh, represents the Earth. Uh, that ball bearing there represents the moon. Okay, so there's the Earth, there's the moon. And the interesting thing about it is that it's to scale okay like as in the distance between them so there's the there's the earth there's the moon and that's how far apart they are to scale look at that crazy oh an eclipse right I'm just messing about uh, Moon surface features, features that we can see. What can we see? Craters, maria, terre, mountains, valleys. What do they look like? What is their structure? What is their origin? Let's go through it. So craters, first of all, there's a, a, an important crater, one that you definitely need to know. You can see it with the naked eye uh, called uh, Tycho or Tycho. Tycho I like uh, a very famous astronomer we're going to learn more about Tycho later in the course uh, and that is a crater there's the Tycho crater you should be able to see it with a pair of binoculars or a, a telescope it looks pretty good the Tycho crater how do craters form well basically things smacking into the surface of the moon uh, and it causes this depression a circular depression we see material is ejected and so we get splash material splash marks uh, and you end up with a, a circle uh, and a little peak why is there a little peak in the middle a central peak well look at this this is uh, dropping something in water see the little blob you know the waves travel outwards there's a reflection inwards and stuff is chucked up in the middle and you end up with this little peak in the middle so that is how craters are formed craters are formed by things smacking into the surface of the moon uh, terre and maria terre basically means land maria means seas uh, at one time, many, many, many years ago, there was a possibility they thought that there were seas on the moon, uh, just as on the Earth, there was sea and there was land. 
now we know no all of the surface is solid at least now it's all solid uh, but we have these flat lowlands and then these kind of much rougher highlands uh, so Maria and Tere why are they different well the Maria of the seas they're the dark bits about 17 percent of the surface as I said astronomers a long time ago thought they were seas uh, why are they darker because there's the elements in there contain more iron and that makes them darker uh, there are fewer craters remember there are fewer craters because they formed later they were molten for longer and so they cooled down and they formed later and there's been <clears throat> less time for things to smack into them so there are less craters the Terea are brighter uh, and they are higher up than the Maria the Maria um, a bit of information about the formation of the moon uh, we'll talk later about something called the giant impact hypothesis which is the, the, the theory most people think how the moon formed about four and a half billion years ago. Um, for four billion years, lots of stuff bashing into it, heavy bombardment, loads of asteroids and things smacking into it. Uh, four to one billion years ago, lots of volcanic activity, lots of evidence of volcanoes on the moon. Uh, not now. Um, and then in the last billion years, uh, more cratering things smacking into it uh, there are valleys on the moon uh, not for water but for lava so there's been lava flowing around in, in the past on the moon and this has left visible valleys on the moon okay this is a uh, a thermal image of the moon which suggests that you know there were there were hot spots on the moon uh, mountains uh, these are the Apennine or Apennine mountains on the moon um, not caused in the same way as on earth on earth the the mountains are caused by the movement of tectonic plates when tectonic plates come together and it forms mountains on the moon no it's just kind of the edge of very very large maria uh, like the edge of large craters so uh, not caused by tectonic there is no tectonic movement on the moon as far as we know but the apennine mountains these are the the named features that you need to know you must make an effort to learn these uh, the maria you've got the sea of tranquility okay this is where um, Apollo 11 landed tranquility base the sea of tranquility uh, you've got the sea of crises um, you've got the Apennine mountains or the Apennine mountains um, and the ocean of storms um, we'll just learn the English names we're not bothered about the Latin names uh, there are three craters that we need to know Tycho at the bottom I've already mentioned uh, then there's Kepler and Copernicus obviously named after two other very important astronomers so look at my diagram look at the photograph match them up you need to learn this stuff by the way unless you're just watching the video out of interest you need to actually make an effort to learn it I think what would be a very good idea for you to do in a table see if you can do this table without looking at your notes so for craters Maria Terre mountains valleys um, write down what they look like sketch what they look like talk about their structure and their origin uh, if you can give an example um, find a picture your own picture on the internet of an example of each of these okay uh, and this is the the surface of the moon stuff on the surface of the moon that we need to know 